Today in Teresa's basement, it's the Smuggler's Bounty Death Star Box. Back to the basement welcome to the channel if you've never been here before and it is time for a smuggler's bounty it is the death star box if you guys don't know what smuggler's bounty is it's one of the funko powered subscription boxes it's 25 dollars us a month plus shipping and handling it always comes with exclusive funko items uh there's a t-shirt there's a funko pop almost always <laughs> i won't say always because there was at least one uh marvel collector core box that didn't have it but there's usually an exclusive Funko Pop amongst other Funko items. It's pretty cool. I've been enjoying it, but mm, I've got to admit, yeah, I've been kind of losing interest in it over the past few months. Uh, these boxes, along with Collector Core and Legion of Collectors, they're starting to get a little tedious, a little predictable. You know, they always have basically the same kind of things in them. So I recently um, turned off Auto Renew. I don't know if I'm going to be getting these once the year is up, but we'll see. For now, let's check out what's in the Death Star box. I misplaced the Shredder for a moment there. <laughs> let's see what's in the Death Star box. As always, first items are the pin and the patch. The patch has Darth Vader on it. Smuggler's Bounty there. And the pin which I'll take it to the plastic because it's so hard to see in the plastic, is a Stormtrooper. There you go. Not too bad. The pin in the patch as always. Getting into the main part of the box. There's the spoiler card. We'll just set that aside for now. These boxes are too big <laughs> to have on a table in front of you. <laughs> Okay, first thing is the t-shirt, and it is in fact a Funko Pop designed t-shirt. I don't mind the Funko Pop design t-shirts every now and then, but I do prefer just basic designs. This one is Darth Vader and Obi-Wan <laughs> fighting on the Battle of the Death Star there. That's actually pretty cute. Like I say, I do prefer... Uh, your regular style of design. The Funko Pop things are cute, but I do like normal t-shirts a little bit better. But this is actually a really cute design. Vader and Kenobi fighting there. Not too bad. Not uh, hugely colorful or anything like that. It's more of a plainer style, which I actually do like. So there you go. Not a bad start. The next item is a Death Star bag tag. <laughs> <laughs> for your luggage. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. I do like this. I can see this as not necessarily being an item for everybody, but I find it funny. Love the little Death Star, and I actually do travel a lot, so this is something really cute and geeky that I can put on my luggage. I currently have a Harry Potter one that says nine and three quarters, and I get teased relentlessly for it at work, so this would be pretty funny to switch it out with this and see if anybody notices. <laughs> And there are two exclusive Funko Pops in this particular box. The first one is Grand Moff Tarkin, which is actually kind of awesome. He is a great uh, character in the original movie. That's pretty cool. Great idea for an exclusive for the box. Let's check it out. So he's wearing his Grand Moff uh, Imperial uniform there, and he's got the little pins up on the lapel, the belt. I love how he's got his arms hold behind his back like he is usually standing in the movie. And he's got these nice sunken cheeks. I don't know if you guys can really tell from the video because it's uh, a very gradual, but they do have the sunken cheeks on his face there. That's pretty awesome. This is pretty cool. I like that idea for a pop. If I had one complaint, he doesn't really look old enough to me. He does have the gray hair and everything, but he doesn't have that, uh, that old look like they give to some of the pops with the sunken eyes and everything. But he is pretty cool. I like that idea for the pop for an exclusive for the Death Star box. That's a pretty awesome idea. Pretty cool. And last but not least for the Death Star box, the second pop is the man himself, Darth Vader, and he is force choking. <laughs> That's awesome. It's called 
Bespin Darth Vader because he's uh, in fight mode holding his lightsaber and everything there. I love- he's force choking, that's awesome. <laughs> Bespin Vader has his lightsaber at the side, hand up doing a force choke, his cape is kind of flowing behind him. He's got a nice stance there, he's kind of head on, body sideways. Very nice. I have several different Vader pops, but this one is kind of updated. It's a bit more detailed, better mold, nicer stance, of course. This is pretty cool. I really like I love the Force Choke. Like, Darth Vader is a character who should not just be standing there with his arms down. He needs a dynamic pose. So this is pretty awesome. Love it. And of course, as always, there's the card that just shows a little bit of information about everything in the box, production info, uh, original designs and that kind of thing. If you're interested in that, there it is. So there you go, that was the Death Star Smuggler's Bounty Box. We've got the Stormtrooper pin, Darth Vader patch, fairly cute little t-shirt. I could do without the Funko Pop design, but it is actually a cute t-shirt, so I will wear it. The Death Star luggage tag. I actually really like that and I'm definitely going to use it. The Grand Moff Tarkin Pop and the Darth Vader Bespin Pop. Gotta say, not a bad box. I don't know if it was necessarily my favorite of the Smuggler's Bounty boxes, but it was pretty cool. I love the pops. I think the baggage tag is actually pretty funny and I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, I think the shirt brings it down a little bit for me just because I'm getting a little bit sick of the pop style of t-shirts, but in general, yeah, this was a pretty good box. And any box that comes with two pops is pretty awesome. But what did you guys think of the box? What do you think of the pops? What do you think of the bag tag? Are you guys gonna laugh at me for using that? What do you feel about the Funko Pop t-shirts? I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comment section below as always. Again, if you are interested in Smuggler's Bounty, there'll be some information in the description box below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. Links in the description box below. And of course, as always guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye! And this is the part where you guys can give me some love if you liked the video and you want to watch some more. Here are some of the more recent ones. And if you enjoyed the channel, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe right below. Please keep coming back for more videos. Bye!